morning. Good morning to my, do we call them team? Sure. My yeah, pastor, we're going to be a team, especially we are next a team. week we're going to be a team, a team with the a Boss team Victory. In Christ, yes. <laughs> and especially good morning to my daughter, Jamie, because every she watches every morning, but she really helps me throughout the week with lots of little things and one big thing to me is I never have to worry about what am I going to wear because she does it. So good morning, Jamie. But good yes. morning to everybody that's viewing this morning. We're so happy you joined us. Yeah, we usually start out, we would just like to talk about the weekend, what happened. Um, Pastor had an amazing yeah, weekend. I really did. I was, in, uh, I was in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, with one of my good friends, Sean Foyd. He's been doing these worship events, Let Us Worship. And um, I've had the privilege of helping him organize the ones from Florida. And we were in Jacksonville on, there we are right there. We were in Jacksonville on Saturday night in man, just thousands and thousands outside, hundreds and hundreds getting saved. Wow. It was just amazing. Oh, you know, just the police, we brought up and honored them. And it was just so many lives changed. It was beautiful. And then you know, he was in West Palm Beach last night, just exploded. He'll be there one more night tonight for sure. So just love what God's doing, man. So if love you're in the West Palm Beach area, yes. want to get out yeah, and enjoy tonight, it. Yeah, tonight, absolutely. Wow, that's amazing. That's exciting. That's but the video, exciting. you showed us the video yesterday. Oh, and goodness. I, you're talking about families, a lot of youth. I was, I was impressed with how many of young youth people. were up front. I know. And uh, just it's awesome seeing the move of God and what he's doing in these areas. So. Yes. You know, when you see people crying so hard and just like really just getting free, Christ touching it's like, man, there's yeah. nothing better than that, you know? Oh, Love we it. were, it touched us yesterday. You were showing us the yeah, video yesterday and we were just amazing. Yeah, it's, how, where can they see the video? Just go to YouTube and look up. Yeah, Sean Foy's YouTube page, Let Us okay. Worship, the Jacksonville recap. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Another big news, before we go to our little segment, what do you have going on this weekend, Friday oh, night? Oh, man, yes, <laughs> Madeira Beach, Florida. We're launching a church, ladies and gentlemen. What? Yes, so our first awesome. service is this you Friday what? night. <laughs> yeah. What? Like you're here for the like first time. Like you don't know about like it. Like they didn't help me get this thing ready. <laughs> this Friday night, 7 p.m. is our first uh, official worship night. So Madeira Beach, Florida. So Great. anywhere on the west coast of Florida, come on down yeah, to Madeira Beach. a lot Beach. going it's on Friday in Florida. Night. Come on, yeah. join us. so excited. All right, well, we have some fun little, you know, we try to start the light at I mean, 6 a.m. in the morning, right. Monday morning, start uh, your week off. We want to have some fun. We've got two great little Noah's Ark cartoons we wanted to share with you. This first one cracks me up. Here's Noah. You see the water's rising. His hair's down in his eyes. He's all wet, telling the snails, oh, yeah, go ahead, take your time. You know, no hurry here. No, <laughs> nothing going on here. Just take your time getting up the ramp. It, I just, that's hilarious. I don't know. It cracks me up. Puts me in kind of a good mood, a, a smile. And then here's another one. I love this. Um, it's, it, you know, I love this guy's cartoons. It says, what a lousy trip. It's the elephants talking to each other. It rained the whole time. <laughs> they're coming. They're saying, you know, they're on a cruise. But what's your perspective? That's good. I mean, it really comes down to, okay, they were sheltered from a lot of things, just like God shelters us from everything bad and gives us only good. And you think about that, it's like, what's your perspective? What are you That's seeing good. today? When you see something today, look for the goodness that comes from some circumstance because God always turns everything around for good and he is only good. So you're going to see good if you look for good. Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. Well, let's go to the breaking through set. We want to talk about, you know, every day is a different day. We've had what? National Spaghetti Day. We've had all kinds <laughs> of different days. Today we actually launches. Coming up. I can't wait. It's not for. just a day. It's an entire month of Black History Month. So a great month to, uh, Focus on that, and then of course today is National Freedom Day. But for Black History Month, we want to do just kind of a little feature on an American. His name was Lemuel Haynes, and I, I wanted to focus on him, of course, because he's from West Hartford, Connecticut. Come on, Got not far from where I'm from. There you go. So we did that in honor of Pastor James. But he was a Black American. He served as a Minuteman in the Revolutionary War, and uh, he actually fought at Boston in the Battle of Fort Ticonderoga. But here's a quote of his, he devoted all for the sake of freedom and independence. And that's Amazing. why he fought in the war. He ended up becoming a pastor. And in 1785, he was ordained, had all kinds of churches. He led all white churches. He led mixed race churches. That's awesome. Everybody worshiped together. You're talking about the 1700s. Now, it's how amazing. phenomenal is that? And that's why I wanted to focus on him. Great, great pastor. Go online, do some research on Lemuel. Haynes and uh, learn a little bit more about him and his story. But, awesome man of God. Oh my yeah, gosh. Amazing. Yeah, great, great pastor. Um, you can read a lot about him. So, 
Black Makes history. you wonder about all the people we don't know about that have so done like true. all these amazing. Like we're gonna get to heaven one day and be like, wow. So you true. Know? That's awesome. Get like this. Yeah, just so many awakeners that we've never heard about. You know. I love that awakeners. Come mm-hmm. on. And then the and today is National Freedom Day, so we're celebrating the Thirteenth Amendment on Friday. On sorry, February first in eighteen sixty-five, an amendment which was out, it outlawed slavery. So it's a good day to reflect back on that because the United States is a country that's dedicated to the ideas of freedom and justice and equality. And that all citizens should work towards those goals. So today is National Freedom Day. Amen. That's an awesome. And, and that's an amen? Black History Month, uh, yeah it is. It is an amen. You know what amen means, right? So be it. Yeah, so it's be done. It. Yeah. Finished. It's all good. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to leave past here. And also, a quick reminder, we're online live, so yes. let yes. us know where you're watching from. We're going to be interactive here. Love to hear from you, see what we can pray for you about. Come on. Or any comments about what we're going to yeah. cover in a minute. We've got some healthy life tips, all kinds of things we're going to do on. today on this morning's show. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, we have uh, good news. Some of that was great news. Now, this is good news. We always have a church sign. We find church signs all over the internet because it just it's fun. We They're wanted to fun. have fun this morning. They really are fun. And I like this one. It was from Westside Baptist. Man, this morning my mouth hasn't woken up yet. We're not Dairy Queen, but we have great Sundays. I think that is so fun. That's, yeah, it's fun. That's it's fun. cute. It's clever. They're we don't know where Sundays. this Westside Baptist church is. There's a, you go online, there's a lot of churches that use this um, you know, yeah. just as something to get people's attention as they pass by. But uh, So we chose that one. And then also, I had a really great story uh, that came from Anna Maria Island, which isn't too far from here. A lot of people Love aren't familiar this. with it. They go vacation there, but it's just south of us, just south of Tampa Bay where we are right now. And uh, it was a gentleman that was playing football with a buddy, and as he threw the football, he felt his wedding ring fly off his hand. Hmm. He, but he was in like knee-deep water. So everybody came out and searched, couldn't find it. They found this group online, the Suncoast Research and Recovery Club. He actually contacted them. They came out with some underwater metal detectors and within like five minutes had found this guy's wedding ring. So just a great, great story that when you think, you know, all is lost. I mean, I've had this for how many years? Oh, I should know that right off the bat. Right. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> had my wedding ring for a long, long time. If I lost this, it'd be, it'd be traumatic. It's just an object, we can replace it. But it, you know, it has sentimental value because it represents you know, our union. Um, so if I lost it, yeah, I'd be devastated. So to find a group like this that comes out and helps you and finds it, uh, just a great, great little story. Um, That's anyway, something online, being turned around for good. Oh, absolutely. You can see all these little success stories, some of the things they found. And uh, so we just wanted to bring that forward to you today. Just a good news story. Well, and Anna Maria, did you say that Anna Maria Island is just south of us? You did. I'm sorry. I I actually lived there for a couple years in high school. But anyway, that's (laughs) that's the story for another time. (laughs) All right, Lori, our feature today, we always we always focus on, you know, something with the Christian Television Network and CTN. And a lot of people might not realize we have a lifestyle network, a whole nother network that has all different programming. It's very different programming, but it's still all about Jesus. So, well, 98% of it is. <laughs> we have other things like we do have, well, actually, we just have a highlight. Yeah, so let this highlight clip explain it highlight. CTN's Lifestyle Network. Programming you'll love. Great for the entire family. Yeah, sorry, if you live near one of these cities, love. you can watch Lifestyle on your TV with just an antenna. Or you can watch anywhere at any time on the internet at ctnlifestyle.com. Some of my favorite shows on Lifestyle are the hours of fishing programs that we have for the weekend. Of course, we also have home improvement and decorating shows. And did I mention that you can watch anywhere at any time on the internet at ctnlifestyle.com? Best of all, we have several different movies each week. Christian themed movies to entertain the entire family and we're reconnecting you to the classics. Yeah, with shows like Bonanza, Ozzy and Harriet, and the Andy Griffith Show. CTN's Lifestyle Network, entertainment for the entire family. Did I mention that you can watch it from anywhere at any time at ctnlifestyle.com? Several times, so yeah, hopefully they they figure that out and got it. So fun little promo with us sitting on the iPad explaining how to watch Lifestyle. You can see it anywhere. Some anytime. Sleep, anytime, yeah, exactly. But a lot of great programming on there, as Lori said. And this is a feature this week. One of my favorites. Um, we're going to feature this week, Full Flame. We have a movie segment, so this is what's airing all week long on our movie segment. 
and his full fling, which is Reinhard Bunke, one of our favorites. I mean, love this man, and this, this programming is amazing, so you need to find it and watch it. But here's so a quick, watch a yeah, here's a quick for promo it. for the Full Flame series. From one of the leading soul winners of our times comes an epic battle cry for the heart of mankind. Through the power of cinematic storytelling, international evangelist Reinhard Bunke unveils the remarkable principles that launched him into a life of revolutionary gospel impact. From the savannas of Africa to the ends of the earth comes a collection of stories, teachings, and a symphony of creation that all proclaim the heart cry of heaven. Bring liberty to the captives and lead the prodigals home. That is a phenomenal, it's so long, it's two segments, so you'll watch it back to back because it is such a long program, but it is phenomenal. And if you want more information or you want to buy the video, go to gettheflame.com. Yeah, gettheflame.com. You can order the video for your church crew because it's almost four hours of different little stories, vignettes. You see the Such cinematog a phenomenal cinematography, teacher. I can always yeah. say that. It is gorgeous. And his teachings, it's wow. amazing, amazing programming. But special note on that, Pastor, actually had a chance to sit with Reinhardt. What, are, not too what an ago. awesome clip, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah Man, really if is. that don't just get you fired up. Oh, come on. Yeah, you know, we, uh, we got to go down to his home like a couple weeks before he passed on, and I actually got to spend the day with him, and what an amazing man of God, you know? Eight, I think over 88 million souls for the kingdom. Wow. Talk wow. about awakener, right? Mm -hmm. Reinhardt Bonke. So, yeah, get that video. It's, a, it's amazing. Love it. So Watch powerful. it on Lifestyle this week. It's on a couple of different times. CTNLifestyle.com. Go there and look at the schedule there. But, man, you see those fields of the people. Oh, wow. That really will... Uh cause some awakening in you yeah, if you watch that. All right, speaking of awakening, <laughs> it's time for our healthy life tip. And today, Lori wanted to focus on snacking because a lot of times, you know, a lot of people eat really healthy and then their snacks ruin that. That's exactly right. I mean, if you think about it, if you're really trying to watch your weight and you're traveling or you're going to work or just at home, and a lot of people are at home right now. So this kind of made me think about what can we do to be a kind of helpful because if you're 2,000 calories a day or if you're a guy, maybe a little bit more than that, you really want to watch your snacks because your snacks are included in your calorie content for the day. So always have water. But I, I mean, like how you're hiding it. It's like yeah, I'm, I'm you're hiding not going to get to see what's so, in there. No, no, not really. Start pulling stuff out. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is that if you're traveling, you're going somewhere, bring a bunch of snacks. I mean, we do that. We bring all kinds of snacks every day for work because we don't want to just like grab a bag of something and then it's like, whoops. So I brought, and this is what I usually will bring every day, strawberries, 
blocks of cheese. You can do uh, like a cup of cubed cheese. All of these are under 50 calories. So that was the whole thing. Look, here's a cup of popcorn. Under 50 calories. Now that's air pop. Doesn't have any yeah, stuff in it. No, no butter Apple, and all that. little tangerines, pear, um, dried cherries. You can do almonds. Oh, here's my little shaved almonds. And then yogurt. Now, I'm going to cover this because yogurt is really, if you think about it, and if you look at this screen, it talks about calories under 50 calories. But there's over 50 calories that you really want to watch. So this is the good list. Yeah, this is the <laughs> good list. Calories, so it's blueberries. Dill pickles, some of the things that we didn't yep. bring with us today. Edamame, and there's the cube cheese, air pop popcorn, raw almonds, green olives. Those are amazing. Dill pickles. Guess what? You can eat dill pickles, and you can eat up to six of them. <laughs> six dill pickles is under, I don't know who could eat six dill pickles, but anyway, that's under 50 calories. Right. So. Now here's the over 50 calories. Of course, a candy bar, 250 calories, depending on what it is. One donut. I mean, come on. Corn chips, potato chips, they're somewhere around 300 calories or more. Chicken nuggets, yogurt cup, and a milkshake is 400 calories. Yogurt cup. Now, that's yogurt. People think, okay, I'm eating yogurt and it's really, really healthy. And yeah, it is, but you really should look at what's the content in it and how many calories. Greek yogurt is really what you want to eat because that yogurt cup is saying it's 400 calories. That's, that's, that's your, I'm sorry, that's your normal store-bought grocery yogurt. Yes. And it actually, a lot of them have um, high fructose corn syrup and a lot of things that you don't want to eat. Well, a lot of people think they're eating healthy cereal for breakfast. And if you look at that and it's high fructose corn syrup, even ketchup, tomato soup has high fructose fructose corn syrup and we love tomato soup oh, yeah. we don't eat it because of the high fructose corn syrup so greek this is i'm not going to show you the brand but um <laughs> greek yogurt this is actually this whole container is 110 calories so here, here's what which I, is of course, awesome I'm, I'm really hungry this morning i haven't had breakfast so i might please start don't eating. eat what? that yet, not yet. <laughs> anyway <laughs> under 50 calories, almost yeah. all these are under 50 calories, and then you see our over 50 calories. So you can have, you know, your tangerine, your cube, or some of these are five to six times as many calories. So you don't think about that during the day, but if I had, you know, a candy bar, a donut, and some corn chips, I'm at almost a thousand calories, which is about half my daily intake. That's just my snacks, that's not even my well, meals. Well, wait, if you eat all of this, you're still under, that's a hundred. 200, this is, this is right here, Not maybe not all of these, but half of these, this is under 300 calories. Yes, yeah, so you, you don't have this. to get an app out and get your computer yeah. out and figure out how many calories I've had today. Just take it into thought, okay, I know some of these are under 50 calories, so if I'm going to have a snack, I'm going to have one Correct. of these healthy snacks. But then you could have this whole yogurt thing if you have just those. So that is a good Love way to snack. So watch your snacks so you don't throw your you know, your calorie deficit because you want a calorie deficit to be able to lose weight. That means you got to work out too. So we are healthy going snacks. to do oh, speaking healthy of working snacks. Out, this is our Christian fitness segment. We're going to stretch and don't forget your water. Stretching. So if you have a dish, I mean, you can stretch anywhere. You can stretch in your kitchen like we're doing right now. Are we giving one of these to right Pastor now. James? Yeah. Let me see if I can to... throw it that far. Uh, Pastor. But, but, but if it doesn't go. Let me see if go. I can throw this far. <laughs> This is my Tom Brady test for next week. Like we're in a stadium? <laughs> oh, oh, so close. Maybe broke That's why you see, you better watch your shoulder. I'm going to blame it on my Thank jacket. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> Hey, anyway. It's a long distance from here to there. That's that's a good, you know, what? 30, Maybe if we'd thrown a rubber band, it would have worked. So I'll anyway, redeem myself next week. We're bringing our a Christian football. fitness towels. So what a great way to wake up in the morning and just, just stretch across. Yes. So the towel oh, is just a good tool. And you're, if you're in your kitchen, you have a dish towel. You and you don't have to have a towel. towel. You can just actually don't tug at this, but literally just. So just pull across. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, you don't have to put a lot of pressure. It just <laughs> gives you a good stretch. Wow, that feels so good. Yeah, and hey, we're 6 a.m. in the morning, a little bit after that now. What a great way to start your day. And start your blood flowing. Yeah, because you can just that's reach overhead. Really... I don't know if I can do it with the jacket on. Look, Pastor James yeah, is doing Pastor, it too. Pastor, get a little stretch going. This. And you just hold it for, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds. This is warming up the muscles, which is really, really good. This is a great way to get your metabolism started by just stretching. I mean, just stretch. Get your blood flowing in your body. Start moving right away. One of my favorites is to grab it behind if you can. If you're flexible enough to grab behind and then open up your chest. Well, we did a shoulder show um, and we talked about 
um, how people can recognize having a frozen shoulder and not being able to do certain things like this. And this is a perfect way to get your shoulder unfrozen. And having a frozen shoulder can be very, very painful. So Well, you just did a really good one. It's where yeah. you reach behind. Yep. If you can reach it, if not, you can just push. Yeah, you can just use your, but you just pull gently, don't tug, never tug. Just gently stretch. But that's a great way to release. And if you can't move your arm, then start doing gentle stretches Go so that you can direction. release that. Oh, you're really doing I'm it. I'm actually starting to sweat. This is heating. <laughs> Just these simple stretches yep. heats up the muscles, get then your you oxygen going, sweating. get your blood flow going. So this is a great way to wake up. This really is a great way to wake <laughs> up. So now that we're awake. Now that we're awake, we're going to get into the Word. <laughs> so we're going to go sit with Pastor James. Yes. Oh, but we have our post-it. We have our post-it. Normally the scripture that he's going to preach on, Lori makes a post-it out of it. Where are my glasses? Oh, here they are. Well, you don't need it. We've got a giant post-it right here. That's true, but I wanted to get my post-it. So this is from the Passion Translation. I just really love this. I know Pastor James, we love the New King James, and he reads from that, but I like how this is worded. Beloved friend, I pray that you are prospering in every way and that you continually enjoy good health just as your soul is prospering. You know, this is a declaration. This isn't just, and we I know we use this in every single Christian fitness show, but this is an absolute declaration. When you speak that over somebody, you're not just saying something. You're actually declaring the word of God over somebody. So this is John declaring this over his friend Gaius. Yeah, he writes this letter to Gaius. What I like about it is it's it's threefold. Number one, he wants you to prosper, and that is financially. So, yes. anyway, but <laughs> he wants health. you to prosper financially. Yes. But if you have good health, I'm sorry, if you have all the money in the world, but no, not in good health, what good is that? Exactly. If you're in the hospital on a ventilator, you could be a trillionaire. What's it gonna? What good does it do you? Or you could be as health, the healthiest person in the world and the wealthiest person in the world. But if your soul is suffering, mm. if your spirit is suffering, what good does that do you? So he's saying, look, I want you to prosper in all these, all these areas. It's so true. And you know, when it comes to the word prospering, you know, a lot of people sometimes feel like there's a negative, you know, uh, connotation right. around the word prosperous, but. Really, that word prosperous is, is, it is financial, but it's not only financial. Correct. It's really every area of our life right. um, mm-hmm. just thriving in God. And, you know, I think this past year, a lot of people, it's easy to get focused on what's not prospering in your life. Maybe, you know, you're like, well, I wish my, my job was secure, or I wish my children's health, or I wish I had this. And, you know, we really can't just focus on what's not happening. We've got to, you know, because really, like Lori just said, this is a declaration over us. This is God saying, this is what I want for you. Hmm. I want you to live this way. And the beautiful thing is, you know, the Bible says he takes pleasure in the prosperity of his children. The beautiful thing is, number one, we have to know today that God wants us blessed in every area. And that means not filled with anxiety, depression, and fear. That means walking in health. Come on. I mean, mm. I was, I, even when you were talking about those snacks, I'm thinking, man, you know, we need God to empower us to make good choices, you know, to live the way he wants us to live. And so I feel like it's easy to get bogged down by everything that's not happening. But if we realize what God does want for us, it'll be easier to step in. Let me read one more scripture. Um, Psalm 3410 says, um, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those that seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. Come on. I want to encourage you today to seek the Lord, right? Just make an effort. You know, I was thinking about Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you. But then it says, I sought the Lord, you know, and, and found him. So I really believe that one of the links for us today in living a prosperous life is in seeking. Yeah. You know, it's not looking at your problems. It's looking at what God wants for us and pursuing that. And I believe that's when we'll see breakthrough. Oh, that's so good. So, so good. And yeah, so, don't, look at the, look at the, don't look at the problem. Look at the promise. Oh, man. So what are absolutely. his promises? So I'm not going to focus on the one thing. I'm not going to focus that we had to get up at 3.30 this morning. I'm going to focus on <laughs> the promise of, of coming here and just fellowshipping and having fun. And, and putting God Encouraging first. people. Yeah. Talking about Reinhardt Bonnke. Looking at some of the things. Totally. In a way, it's that little cartoon you had about perspective. Yeah. You know? 
What is your perspective? Right. Yeah. I feel like it, we have the word of God. We, we are the oh children God, of God. Right. He has died for us and given us, you know, we should lack nothing in him. But you it know? is all about perspective. I love that. I mean, if you think about it, so you get up early in the morning and you're spending that morning with us, but your perspective isn't just to spend morning, the morning with us. It's you're saying good morning to Jesus, to mm. the Lord. And that's what you start. It's so easy to jump out of bed and go running and do the mechanical thing. But what about starting out worshiping God? What about starting out your day with the Lord? So that everything in your day is prosperous because your eyes are on him instead of what's happening. Absolutely. You know, the Bible says, sing, O barren woman, you know, and it says more will be the children of the desolate woman. So there's Mm -hmm. something about the cry of faith of thanksgiving that I believe will release this over us. And I want to pray for you today. And what I want to encourage you to do when we're done praying, just thank him for everything. Mm -hmm. Thank him for what you don't have. Come on, thank him that that the job is going to change, that your health is going to be restored. Thank him that, you know, everything in your life will be in this place. So Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for every person watching this broadcast. The needs may be great, but God, you're greater. Mm -hmm. And we thank you that as we focus on you and we look to you, all things will be made whole. So God, we thank you. That as we seek you, Father, as we seek you, we will not lack anything. We release that over every person watching. We thank you that this will be a week, a month, a year of wholeness. Spirit, soul, and body. God, give us the power to walk in health. Come on, I receive it. Give us the power to stand on your word in every area of our life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Come on. Good work. Yeah, it's one of my favorite scriptures. I mean, it's a prayer. It's right. a, it's, it's it's John's prayer over Gaius mm. and to prosper in all these things. But especially spiritually. So we declare to you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you gonna read that again? Well right? sure, I want Say to it? Yeah. Oh. For sure. Oh, beloved, wait. I, I would, oh, I've got a, I don't even know what version I have memorized, but it's beloved. I pray That's that in all teacher. respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. And if you really want to get more word and more teaching, please watch Breaking Through on Monday nights. Tonight, Tonight, 7 (laughs) p.m. 7 p.m. Watch Pastor James. We'll be on. Yeah. And we're on the Lifestyle Network. Yeah, you're on the Lifestyle Network. Oh, you're on the Lifestyle Network every day, twice a day. So you got good solid teaching there. But yeah, on CTN tonight, 7 o'clock, don't miss that. And if you're in West Palm Beach, Go see you. Yes, Sean, Sean and Sean then Sean Madeira tonight. Beach Friday night. Man, a lot going and on And then this hopefully week. next week we got a Super Bowl win. <laughs> so we're hoping, we're, we're prospering there in Tampa. <laughs> we're declaring. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We love you guys. God love bless you. Guys. Hit us up with your comments. We love you. Come on. God bless.